Hey guys, uh, today I'm working on a computer that I built. It's a MSI X570 carbon motherboard with a AMD Ryzen 7 processor. It's got 16 gigs of memory and it's got a GeForce 1070 Ti uh, GPU. The problem I'm having is with this uh, Rift S that seems like the USB is losing power, causes it to beep and then static sound and then uh, uh, a lot of problems trying to get it to work again. So kind of figured out that this, this motherboard has a, a USB 3.1 and 3.2 USB ports, doesn't have a 3.0 USB port. So I'm thinking that that might be the issue. So I got this generic uh, card that has USB 3.0. And the reason I went with this version was that it has its external power and it has an internal plug so that I can connect the uh, front USB 3.0 port with this cable and the motherboard doesn't come with a 3.0 uh, USB port. So I'm gonna connect those, plug in that card, and then run a test, see if that Rift S uh, stops disconnecting. Um, basically, it's gonna plug into that port in there. So the card's gonna plug in here, um, and then I'll run the internal power to one of the uh, the car, uh, one of the power supply cords here. Um, so whenever I work on a motherboard or electronic parts, I wear rubber gloves. Um, also use uh, uh, air to make sure there's no dirt in the, in the plugs when I plug them in. So those are good practices. So it's pretty simple and I will let you know how it turns out. Hey guys, I'd really like to say we got that Rift test working, but we had to go back to the HTC Vive. We uh, kept getting that beep and the static sound and then couldn't get it connected, uh, the Rift S. So we're going to have to go ahead and contact Rift uh, Oculus support and see about getting a replacement. Uh, the card, it went in there really good. The card looks good. It's running fine. It gives us a bunch more USB 3.0 3 ports. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there because it does allow me to get that front panel USB 3 port working. So we're going to leave that card in there. And then uh, I guess the solution for this one is to contact Oculus support. Uh, give me, uh, let me know if you have any questions and I hope that works out for you.